Hey guys, I am here with this week's devotional. And when I found out that I was going to be doing this week's devotional, I was trying to figure out what am I going to do it on? And, you know, I just kind of had to let it happen. And it just so happened I was in West Palm Beach this weekend celebrating my 27th wedding anniversary. And of course, I wasn't here for the service, so I was going to tune in online. But it was a little early, and so I was scrolling through and I found another message that I was going to just watch until it was time for unions. And I came across this message and it was called promiscuous grace. And I had never heard those two words used together. Um, the word promiscuous, it has that kind of negative connotation we know. Um, but what it really means is demonstrating or implying an undiscriminating or unselective approach. And of course, grace is that free unmerited favor of God. So when you put those two things together, that truly represents what God gives us. You know, he doesn't pick or choose. He's not selective about who he shows his grace to. It's here for all of us. And, you know, as it says in Romans um, 3, 23, for all fall short, you know, of, you know, God's glory, all of us. And if God was selective, if he picked and choose who he was going to show that grace, you know, to, I think we'd probably all be in a little bit of trouble. And you know, when I'm listening to the message, I couldn't help but think of union. And I felt proud because I really think that we live up to our mission statement. And our mission here is, of course, loving God and loving people. And I think we really, truly, you know, live up to that, that mission statement. And even to the point where we have that reputation of, oh, that's the church that accepts anybody. Well, isn't that what any church should be, you know, and I'm proud to say that we are that we do. It doesn't matter who comes to our doors, what they're struggling with, you know, what their past looks like. Um, it doesn't matter. We open, you know, we welcome them with open arms and that's how we should also be in our personal lives. You know, so my challenge for us today is to let's all kind of do some little self-reflection and examine are we being promiscuous with our grace? Are we offering it freely or are we picking and choosing who we give that grace to? And we need to look within our own families, with our spouses, with our children, with um, people in the workplace or school, even people within our you know, church community, in our own congregations. And whether you go to union or you go somewhere else, you know, be able to kind of look and really examine, you know, are we living that promiscuous grace? Are we offering it to anybody who crosses our path? You know? And if we're not, because I really think that we've only really just touched the tip of the iceberg. I know that we can go so much deeper if we allow God's spirit to lead us in that. So as I say, I challenge us all, let's go even deeper with that grace. So thank you for your time. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. Thank you.